Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to our series on IGCSE English as a Second Language Exam Preparation. In today's video, we are going to be talking about idioms for positive and negative emotions. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. Let's look at the idiom it takes two to tango. When would you use this? When you want to emphasize that both people involved in a difficult situation must accept the blame, or that an activity needs two people who are willing to take part for it to happen. Let's use the idiom. She may want to argue, but it takes two to tango and I won't stoop to her level. Now, this is a great idiom but realistically there are going to be very few situations in which you can use this idiom in your exam. So, instead of randomly memorizing large lists of hard-to-use idioms I recommend that you focus on idioms for positive and negative emotions. This is because you will always have the opportunity to express your own or someone else's positive or negative opinions. So, let's do this, 10 idioms to use in your exam. 1. To have a whale of a time. What is the meaning? To have a very fun and exciting time. What is an example of where to use this? When you are writing your letter or review, to say what a great time you will have, or had. So, an example use of this idiom? They say he who is bored with London is bored with life. There is so much for us to do here that we are guaranteed to have a whale of a time when you visit. 2. To be on cloud 9. What is the meaning? To be very happy and joyful. When would you use this? When you are writing your letter or review, to say how happy someone is? So, an example use of the idiom would be. I feel content with my life at the moment and I am on cloud nine. Three. To be on top of the world. What is the meaning? Feeling amazing, wonderful, ecstatic. What is an example of where to use this? When you are writing your letter or review, to say how great you feel. An example use of this idiom, when I look at my absolute favorite piece of art, Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh I feel inspired and on top of the world. It shows me true beauty and that I believe is why art is so popular. 4. To be over the moon. What is the meaning? Extremely pleased and happy. Again, an example of where to use this is writing your letter or review, to say how great you feel. An example use of this idiom, on my last birthday, I went to Paris with my boyfriend. It was an incredible city and the food was to die for. The trip was actually a surprise and when my boyfriend told me I was over the moon. 5. To be like a dog with two tails? What is the meaning? Dogs express happiness through wagging their tails. Therefore, a dog with two tails must be very happy. This is the last positive idiom for today and is used to express your joy. An example use of this idiom. My best friend is called Matthew. We have known each other since we were children. Every time I see him, I'm like a dog with two tails. So, on to idioms for negative feelings. 6. It makes my blood boil. The meaning is something that makes you very angry. Again, use this in your writing when you are trying to say you are angry. An example use of this idiom. I get on reasonably well with most of my family. But my sister is an awful person. She is very selfish and arrogant. Just hearing her voice makes my blood boil. 7. It drives me up the wall. What is the meaning? It annoys you a lot. Use this in your writing when you are trying to describe something that is annoying for you. An example use of this idiom would be, I would have to say that my favorite food is mashed potatoes. However, it drives me up the wall when people don't mash them properly and the potatoes have disgusting lumps. Similar expressions would be, It drives me crazy, 
or it drives me nuts. 8. I hit the ceiling. What is the meaning? To get very angry and upset. Use this when you are trying to say you got very angry. An example use of this idiom would be, As a child, my hobby was always cycling. I used to ride my bike everywhere I could. One day though, my sister borrowed my bike and crashed it. I hit the ceiling but luckily the damage was not too bad. A similar expression would be, I hit the roof. Nine. He or it winds me up. What is the meaning? Someone or something really annoys you. Use this when you're trying to say that you're really annoyed about someone or something. An example of how to use this is, my first day at work was terrible. My boss has been winding me up as he kept shouting at me. 10. To get on your nerves. The meaning of this is someone who annoys you a lot. Use this when you're trying to say someone or thing is really annoying you. An example of the use of this idiom is, it gets on my nerves that we have no recycling here. I am a big supporter of the environment, and we should do more to save it. Some general tips for you. Be careful with the idioms that use irregular verbs. If you use it in another tense you will need to conjugate the verb. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.